I've got a wild and wacky ride to take you on today, class. So hop in my magic school bus and kiss me on the lips. I'm Miss Frizzle, baby, and I hope you're ready to fuckle your seatbelts, because we're coming in hot. This is the story of how a Twitch streamer and GTA RPer named SavX faked his own death in order to distance himself from the GTA RP community. So... Sav X was a GTA RP streamer on the NoPixel server. It's the server that I often frequented for my RPing. NoPixel, I love the community, absolutely fucking fantastic content, and Sav X was a well-respected member of it. He built up a sizable audience on Twitch and had himself his own big community. I believe at the time of his faked death Chris Angel stunt, he had right around 1,500 subs on Twitch, which he just fucking wiped his ass with with this. Just threw it all away for this fake death thing. Which is like right out of Hey Arnold with that Dino Spumoni character who faked his own death to increase record sales. Except this is ten times as stupid. Fucking Dino Spudummy. I don't know what- uh, Okay, I'm getting a little sidetracked already because it's, it's getting me a little heated. Sav played the Johnny Castle character on the server and was eventually banned for cheating because he was aimbotting in GTA. I don't know how much more sad you can be to fucking aimbot in an RP server in GTA. But they fucking busted him, they threw him in the slammer, and they permabanned him. Now, just real quick, permabans don't usually mean, like, forever, you can never come back, because they do believe in second chances in most cases. So he was banned for the cheating, but I'm sure he could have come back to the community at some point if he wanted to. Uh, a couple friends of his decided to check in a couple months later, and they posted these messages. Conclusion that this is not Sav writing this. Uh, Sav passed away Christmas afternoon. This message is being written and sent out now through my brother's email after obtaining access to his PC. He's gotten numerous emails, messages since November with individuals worried about him uh, from a gaming community from what I've come to gather. Although the nature of the emails all seem different, we'd like this, uh, the individuals who have reached out to know he's in a better place now. And we thank you all for keeping him in your minds. There was also this twit longer posted by somebody else in the community that was close to Sav, which confirmed that Sav had passed away. The news of Sav's passing was extremely sad, and the NoPixel community really felt the loss. There's this tribute video that was made to Sav, his fans were absolutely inconsolable, really mourning his death, his close friends in the server were mourning his death, they had an in-game memorial for Sav in order to honor his memory, and overall people were just really feeling the sadness over Sav's passing. There's also this memorial stone in the game that has the name of players who have passed away in order to immortalize them in the world and the community and honor their memory, and you can see Sav X is on there. So you can imagine lying about something like this and causing this kind of emotional ripple effect would make you the most extreme piece of shit possible. Like a piece of shit that took a shit, then got puked on and hit by a garbage truck, that would be the piece of shit you'd be to lie about something like this, right? That's exactly what Sav is. He is that putrid pile of dog shit, because he lied about all of it, and the server owner, Coil, started to have his suspicions and piece things together and eventually confirmed beyond a shadow of a doubt that Sav X is alive and completely lied about the entire thing. So I'm going to take you through some of the clips where Coil starts going over things that don't make sense until he ultimately reaches the conclusion where he hires a professional to confirm it. Uh, I don't know if you guys know who this, who, who's this Twitter is, okay? It's Sav's, all right? joined january 2021 okay so i don't know if you guys knew the date of uh when he had passed but uh this is after uh he he'd, he'd pass away so you go to his twitter which is linked to his twitch page and it also says this uh we uh we did some searching with his name to try and find obituaries and stuff <clears throat> i know i did like i said this is weird Everything says to me that he's not actually dead. Uh, but there's also this weird shit. That uh, ran me too long. Now, 
we uh we, we had this for a while and this was literally uh two weeks ago right so let's go through these Discord screenshots for just a moment. Rami was one of Sav's closest friends in the community, and then eventually just tells him that he faked it all, even hitting him with a pog O, oh, I faked it all, as if all of it is just so entertaining to watch people genuinely mourn him. So he says that he knows people actually think he's dead, and then he just says, but you know I'm toxic as fuck. Let me just hop in here for a quick PSA. If you're one of those insufferable douchebags who self-identifies as toxic or I'm an asshole, whoa, can't do anything about it, sorry, just me being me, I'm just an asshole, I can promise you whatever friends you think you have are not your real friends. They probably don't like you very much and will not actually defend you ever. And that is exactly the case with Sav. Nobody likes the guy who's proud of being an asshole. Nobody. Not even like-minded assholes, because then your assholes collide into like this human centipede formation and you just don't get along well. It's like the same polarity on magnets, you just repel each other. Nobody likes that, and I promise you, you don't have friends if you are one of these people. You just, you just don't. You can tell Rami is upset here, he pushes saying you could have just wrote out your band, but Sav says he needed to do this, he wanted to be done with the community and shit, and then says, but dog pog o because he finds this whole thing to be a joke like genuine mourning from people he finds to be some kind of joke so this dude's just fucking sick he defends it by saying he just wanted to be done with the whole community and all of that and he just wanted to move on from it but sav i think you're probably one of the dumbest streamers to ever stream on twitch because you weren't just done with the no pixel community you killed an entire career 1500 subs that's more money than most people working real jobs will ever see in a month. 1,500 subs a month, not even counting donations. That puts you in the three to $6,000 range a month. And you fucking put it in your butthole to kegel it as a regret for the rest of your life because you got upset at the no pixel community for banning you. And you had a little fucking temper tantrum and cried a little bit. And you wanted your revenge. Ooh, I'm gonna fake my own death to make them all feel bad for banning me. Yeah, they'll miss me now. And you just threw away an entire career. Even getting banned, you could have just transitioned to another game. And like Rami said, just write out your ban. Because perma bans aren't forever. You can come back from them. Fucking XQC has been perma banned like 30 times. And I'm sure he'll be back again soon. Because uh, people grow. They get better. They learn from mistakes. XQC, every time he gets banned, he comes back and he does incredible RP. Does great work. And I'm sure it probably would have been the same for you if you could learn to stop cheating, I suppose. But to do this is so fucking psychopathic and just downright stupid, I can't believe it. You threw away a career for nothing. Like, you have streaming GTA RP. That's like a dream job for 99% of the world, and you threw it away because you got upset that you were banned. So stupid. Now, I would like to address what some people will likely speculate, that maybe he was hacked and he actually did pass away. The, you know, maybe his Discord... His Twitter and his Twitch were all hacked at the same time, uh, and they sent that message to Rami. Uh, I think the likelihood of that is extremely small, and especially considering that Coil himself put the whole thing to rest with a complete conclusion, hiring a professional to find him in the real world and confirm that he is truly alive. We got someone to investigate some shit, like a, hired a guy or people. And it's 100% confirmed that he's alive, by the way. There's, there's literally zero doubt. Actual, actual evidence, okay? So we got all this information, uh, but obviously I can't release it because that's pretty much doxing. But we know uh, everything about him, like names, addresses, and all that shit. And, uh, you know... So that's where this story is at so far. I trust Coyle when he says that he confirmed it. This guy is an extremely thorough man. He does everything to the best possible ability they can be done to. So if Coyle says that there is no doubt whatsoever that Sav faked the whole thing, then I truly do believe that. And that is so sad that someone could be so pathetic to fake their own death because they were upset about a ban in a game. How dumb can you fucking be it's crazy but yeah so this was quite a wild ride i was following this story as it developed and from only a week ago he was only speculating based off of these weird things with the twitter account and all of that to now being completely confirmed crazy absolutely crazy that's about it though see ya